I'm, uh, I'm the ambassador of Israel here in, uh, in Romania. So I'm a career diplomat uh, and I've been in the business for 40 years now in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. So, but that's not who I am. That's what I do. The base of, of how I got here, my father was a diplomat. I grew up as a diplomat's child. So it was always very interesting for me. Uh, and uh, that's the world I always lived in. So that's what brought me here. But in some way, it, was, uh, it wasn't my first choice. I wanted to, to deal with uh, academic, to be a professor. Uh, and when I was a student, I, uh, I had to work. And the things I did, I didn't like to be there for a long time. After two or three years, uh, I got bored. And when the, the, the opportunity of joining the foreign ministry came, I said, why not try? I tried, and here I am. And for me, it's, it's great because I can every time, after two or three, four years, move to another field and uh, do something different. The sky is the limit. Don't, don't restrain yourself to something that you can achieve. Try to go further. Uh, don't take yourself too serious. Life is fun, so try to make the most of life and not only reach uh, your goal. And never stop studying. What does it mean ethics for you? Oh, ethics. I think it's one of the most important things that, that is a little bit forgotten. It means knowing right from wrong and not accepting to uh, yield to wrong, even a little bit. That's ethics. Getting straight, straight uh, even if it's difficult, but keep your integrity. My children were born. I was already in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. I knew how difficult uh, it will be for, for me, for them. I had to decide if I continue with the, the burden of taking them away from home, from the family, from their friends giving them the chance to see another world, other places, or stay in Israel and make that uh, academic career I, I was thinking of. And that's when I decided that I want to continue being a, di a diplomat. Uh, can you please tell me uh, what kind of books do you read? A lot of history books, a lot of uh, translated books from languages that I don't know, from Chinese, from Japanese, from Hungarian, that I cannot read in the text. Uh, I also adore science fiction uh, and uh, mystery, but I don't have enough time to read. I think they are impatient. They want to get everything very quickly. Uh, they don't remember how it was before. They don't know how it was before. How extraordinary Romania has come a long way. I was here 25 years ago. I can remember how it was during Ceausescu's time. And the young people today, they look outside and they want to be exactly like the Western world. And it takes time. And they don't have the patience. That's the way I feel it. Uh, do you sense that there is a difference between the, uh, let's say, Romanian kids and uh, uh, kids from Israel or kids from... Not at all. Not at all. They have the same opportunities, I think, the same possibilities, the same like and dislike. They are very much like every other kids I know all over the world.
Never take yourself seriously. Don't get mad at things that are not important. Think, is it going to be important in still in five years' time? If you think that in five years' time it's something that you would have forgotten about, don't waste your time getting angry at that. Uh, try to find something nice every day. It's, it helps you uh, go to the next day and not uh, only concentrating on what is not good, what is not happening. Thank you very much. You're welcome.